Hello and welcome to another TrackMan tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over a couple brief release notes of TPS 7.4 and all the new features available in our most recent update. The first of the two main new features of TPS 7.4 is a new game called Bullseye, here in the game section. The second is going to be the new TrackMan handicap system, which we'll cover more later on in this video. Going back to Bullseye, you can find this new game under the Games tab in the top left hand corner of the TPS home screen. Just like normal, click on the thumbnail and press Next. This will bring you to a view where you can find the three different environments that you can play Bullseye in. The first being Dalebrook, which is your most like a traditional golf course. Then we have the Trading Post, which is a western themed town, super fun. And the last is Skyline, where you play from rooftop tea boxes and greens with a bunch of lights and helicopters and sound effects, which is all really cool. Once you select an environment and press Next, you're met with three different options or skill types or difficulties for a game with predetermined settings for each, or a custom game. As I mentioned previously, each difficulty of game has predetermined settings specific to that skill level. The first one you'll see for beginner is the number of targets and the yardages that those targets range from. The next will be how many attempts you get. After that is the firmness of the greens. And lastly is how breezy or windy the conditions are. Please take note that you will be unable to change any game or course settings when playing anything other than a custom game seen here by lock symbols on all the different settings. Conversely, if you go back and choose custom game, you'll see that if we enter the same settings menu, we have the option to choose how many shots we want to hit, how many targets, the length of those targets, etc. You can even go over into the course settings and change uh, what type of wind settings you'd like, whether it's breezy, variable, gusty, the firmness of your fairways, as well as the firmness of the greens. Uh, so going back, Let's go ahead and just play a quick beginner game to kind of give you an idea of what the game looks like. Uh, additionally, there will be some instructions on how to play the game right when we start. Uh, that'll give you a better understanding of how to play. Lastly, you need to choose a player. Um, I'm going to be adding uh, two players. You can choose up to eight. And once you have all your players added, go ahead and press play. And once the game starts, you'll see that it randomizes the order for all the players that have been added to the game. And once that's chosen, you're given one final good luck and then some directions on how to play the game. And as you can see, just like a dartboard, the closer you are to the center of the bullseye, where the pin is, uh, the more points that you get. In addition, if you're able to get your shot to end up within that innermost ring right next to the pin, there is a multiplier for your following shot. So obviously get it as close as you can. Now we'll just breeze through a couple shots so you can get used to the user interface and see kind of what the game looks like and how it hands off between uh, player one and player two and moves on to the next screen. So as player one finishes up his three attempts, it will then hand off to player number two indicated in the bottom right here on this page and then bottom left once you're hitting. Uh, where player two will then have the chance to either match or try and better player one's uh, score. Then, once both players have fulfilled all their attempts, it'll move on to the next screen. This game type has six screens total, and we see target number two. And as you can imagine, this back and forth will go on as you complete all six of your greens or targets until you reach the end where you're presented with a scoreboard kind of like this one, which indicates who won. And once all your bets are settled, you can press continue, and then you have the option to either play again or exit, which will take you back to the games tab in TPS. Now let's move on to the next big update that TPS 7.4 brings us. In order to see, let's go over to the courses tab and right off the bat, you'll see that we have a bunch of new categories that we've grouped our virtual golf courses into. First will be the full tab, which is obviously all of the golf courses that we've offered. It's in alphabetical order and does go left to right. Um, the next will be the latest tab, which is made up of all of the most recently released VG courses that we have. 
The next is the tour venue category, which is made up of all the courses that have hosted a professional tour event at one point or another. Next comes the links category, which has all of the various links style courses that we offer within our software. Next is the Junior Tees category, which is made up of all the courses that we currently offer with Junior Tees. That way we can continue to grow the game and make it fun for all ages. And lastly, we have that Par 3 category, which you may recognize from older versions of TPS. Obviously, here we have a list of all of our Par 3 courses. Finally is that search feature that enables you to have kind of a broader view of all the different course thumbnails, again in alphabetical order. Additionally, you can filter these courses by all of the different categories that we saw on the previous screen, as well as difficulty. You can even use the search bar to type in things like fiction all courses, or even link style, anything that's in the description. And last, but most certainly not least, TPS 7.4 brings the release of our TrackMan Handicap system. This is a system where you can uh, establish and maintain a handicap within our software. That way you can level the playing field and play head-to-head -head against players of all skill types. Lastly, it's important to point out that there are specific criteria that need to be met in order for a round of virtual golf to count towards your TrackMan handicap. These criteria include a gimme distance of 8 feet or 2.5 meters or less, and specific game types such as stroke play, stroke net, and Sableford. For any further questions about the TrackMan handicap system, please do not hesitate to reach out to your sales rep, our support team, or even reference our TrackMan blog that may answer some frequently asked questions. We'll have a link to it down below. And one last feature that goes hand in hand with the release of the TrackMan handicap system is the new putting style under game settings named Auto by Handicap. Much like the Auto Tour Pro putting style, which bases the make percentage off of that of Tour Pros, the Auto by Handicap putting style bases your make percentages off of that of your handicap. To give you an example, a zero handicap player has a 30% chance of making a 10 footer, whereas a 20 handicap player only has a 19% chance to make that same putt. All right, that just about wraps up our release notes for TPS 7.4. As always, thanks for watching and please tune into our next video. Have a good one.